Do you know that you're going to hell or heaven? I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah yes, yes. Uh, hell no. But listen, if you wanted to convert to Islam, we could take you. No problem. Uh, no, no thanks. You don't know? No thanks? Yes? I, I believe in God. Uh, yes, we too. No. What do you know about this book? Not a lot. I have no idea. That's, that's, that's the Islamic Quran? Uh, there's only one Quran. Do whatever you doing, don't talk to me. I, well, I am talking to you. I don't have a but, but why not have a conversation? Street, street Dawah. Street Dawah, guys, you know what it is. One Minute Podcast. You know, my brother, Sneeko's been taken away from us, but nonetheless, this is the Muslim edition, alhamdulillah. We're gonna pull some people, have them have a conversation with us, and talk a little something about heaven or hell. Do they believe in it, do they not? And let's have some interesting conversations, inshallah. We are trying to ask some questions right now to just see what you guys think. Now, what is the question? Right. The question is very simple. We wanna know, do you guys believe in a heaven or a hell? Oh, that's a good question. It is, isn't it? That's why we're doing this. That is a fucking good question. Question, man. Yeah. That's a good question. What do you think? Personally, I think there's a heaven and a hell. I also think there's a lot of philosophies out there that can, can actually coexist in a yes. way that makes sense. Hell yeah. Tell me about that. You said hell yeah. All right, tell me. Uh, if you're a good person, you'll go to heaven. If you're a bad person, you go to hell. Very good question. So, good point. Who decides what's good or bad? I guess God. I think a lot of time faith is a choice. Hmm. Like. You have to actively choose what you believe in. Interesting. Uh, a lot of people that don't believe in stuff like that choose not to believe in anything. Wow. And that's their prerogative. Sure. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I do. I believe in heaven and hell, but sometimes I don't. Because, mm. you know, when you die, you don't know if you're really going to heaven or hell. You feel mm -hmm. So, you know, I, death is scary. So, you, we don't know what the afterlife is like, but I believe in heaven. You're paying for your sin. What are you doing here? Really? Yeah. So, is there no hell? I believe heaven and hell is right here, right now. So when a person does something bad and they just die, is that it? You pay for your sin right here. Really? Yeah. Okay. I do, yeah. Tell me more about that. So I grew up Christian, actually, and um, my roommate and I were having this conversation earlier today, actually. No way. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. And we were just saying, like, whether it's some kind of heaven or reincarnation, whatever it is, I think it's just peaceful. And like being a child again, yeah, you know, yeah. so bliss, yes, exactly, and everything you want, peace of fear. Uh huh. There's no, there's no more death. Yes, it's gone. Death yes. is a big shadow that overwhelms us. Hundred percent. Right. Yes. That's why we live our lives in our early twenties and everything like that because we want to get the most out of it. Yes. Because innately, I believe that we know we have an internal clock that's ticking. Yes. There's more than we know, you know. Think so? There's something in the middle. You know? what, what about you, Austin? I believe in Jesus Christ. Okay. But I don't believe that Jesus Christ is a God God that brings bread and put it down like, here, I brought some bread for you here. Uh, Feel me? Uh, so the question is, I don't believe in the hell or heaven. You don't? No. Well, may the Almighty bless you. Do Syrian lives matter? Yeah. Do you want to help keep Syrians warm for the winter? Hell yeah. Now I'm actually asking you, do you want to help keep Syrians warm this winter? If so, please click the link in the description below and literally donate whatever you can. I've teamed up with Droplets of Mercy this winter to help our Syrian brothers and sisters stay warm for the winter. And if you would like to provide some warmth, it is only $15 for a coat. So please donate a coat or some food or donate whatever you can. But please do not let this moment pass by without you donating something. The Drop of Mercy team is currently on the ground in Aleppo providing your generosity that you have donated. So please click the link and donate whatever you can. Let's help save the Ummah together. Dude, I I'm asking a question right now. Ibrish. Huh? Ibrish. What guys? The question I'm asking is, do you believe in a heaven or hell? What? Do you believe in heaven or hell? Heaven or hell? Mother heaven or hell? Like after when you die, when you die, do you go Life. heaven? Life after die? Yes. Ah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yes, yes. Rabbi yes. Mashiach, it's a life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if someone, like, can anyone, you're Jewish? Yes. yes. Can anyone become Jewish? Can I, like, can I become Jewish if I want to? Want to Jewish? If I want to become Jewish, no, can I? Join him, call me with him. No. No, no, like. I can't? If you, if you want. If I want to. You only need uh, to do a. Convert. If I want to convert, can I convert? You, you. You, uh, something to Jewish. They left you. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. You don't know? No, I don't know. But listen, if you wanted to convert to Islam, we could take you. No problem. Uh, no, no thanks. You don't know? No thanks? Yes? I, I believe in God. Uh, yes, we too. No, you you know who the Prophet Muhammad was? But do you know who the Prophet Muhammad was? 
I think they got off the Jewish, not the... Did, did you know that Jews moved to Medina at the time of the Prophet Muhammad? Oh, Jews moved to Medina. Medina. You know Medina? Medina. You, know, you know Medina? <laughs> Alright guys, take it. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Take care, boss. Walaikum salam, my brother. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. He said salam to me. So you come here. Your hands are very cold. That means you have a very warm heart, mashallah. Habibi, thank you. Habibi, what's your name? Laith. What excites you about Jannah? Jannah? Yes. To be able to be at, at bliss, I guess. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. But my focus is not uh, necessarily Jannah, but uh, I worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the sake of Him being worthy of worship. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That's the best way because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is worthy of all worship. I agree, yes. And when you acknowledge Him and you realize how vast and huge and amazing He is, it makes you want to make a sajda. Yes, I agree. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. To think that there isn't a heaven or hell is a very gloomy way to live your life. I totally agree. Right? Like, what if, like, why are we having moms and dads and parents and, and, and siblings and yeah. children and spouses yeah. if it's just going to be taken away and then black darkness and nothing else? Right. It's kind of silly. It is. It's kind of actually a cruel joke. Yeah. 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 And if there is a creator who's made everything in existence, I'm talking about every atom, every proton, every electron, every neutron, us, everything, he wouldn't play this joke with us. No. Right? Definitely. And I don't believe that this creator is a man or a woman. It's something else. It's genderless. Yes. You understand? Yes. Yeah. Because if it has a gender, that means that that gender is the best because it's God's gender. Exactly. You know what I'm yeah. So this creator is genderless completely, Zach. Yep. That makes sense. That, that does. Do you believe in a higher creator? I believe in a higher creator. I also believe, you know, there could be a natural way of things where there's a force out, you know, not like a old white guy with a big beard. Definitely. Like in a cloak. I agree. He ain't white. Yeah. And and he you know, ain't white. Listen, the this creator is not a he or she. It's gender neutral. Right. It's an energy. It's not a race because if God, whoever, right, if this higher being, this creator is a white, then no wonder there's white superiority. There's no wonder why people think that white is a supreme race if God happens to be white. Yeah. Let me ask you this. If there is a creator, do you believe there is a creator? Like God? Yes. Some creator, whoever. Uh, yeah. There might be, right? Yeah. Now, if this creator does exist and he made us and death is so scary, don't you think he would prepare us? Yeah, yes. for sure. It don't doesn't that make sense? Yeah, he do. wouldn't just leave us to go astray. True. He would prepare us to let us know what's coming after this. Exactly. Do you believe you're a good person? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know that you're going to hell or heaven? No, I don't know yet. You don't know yet. No. And you know what? That's a good thing. Yeah. Can I tell you why? 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 Why do you think it's a good thing? Because I still got my life to live. I'm young. You're very young. Yeah. And if you knew you were going, guaranteed, you are there, my friend. You might not work as hard. Does yeah. that make sense? You get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You might get complacent. You might take your foot off the gas pedal. Yeah. You get me? If a teacher told this student from the day one, you're passing, you're graduating, no worries. Would they do any homework after that? Hell no. Hell no, right? No. If God somehow told you, hey, man, you're going to heaven, no problem. You might stop. You might be like, hey, since I'm going to heaven, I could do all these other acts. I don't know if I'll be that though. I'm glad you wouldn't. Right? Yeah. And, and there's a reason why this knowledge is kept with God and not with us. Uh -huh. You understand? So that we're always working hard until our dying breath. Yeah. If we are saying there is a paradise or something, do you think that there's a hellfire? Or a bad place, quote unquote? Uh, yeah, a bad place. I'd say a bad place. Who is that place reserved for? Uh, people who perform reprehensible actions. What's an example of one? Murder. What if you were self-defending yourself? You killed someone. I wouldn't call that murder. Really? No, I would call that like I, you're killing someone. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I also think legally that would not be considered murder. Sure, sure, right? Yeah. So you obviously know that there are certain standards and a rubric, right? Sure. Where do you get this rubric from? I think a lot of it comes from common understanding. Uh, by the way, you're very intelligent and knowledgeable, by the way. I love how well-spoken you are. <laughs> Thank I mean, you. No, seriously, I think that you're an asset. Thank you, my friend. You so, I appreciate that. So where you're saying that this rubric comes from common understanding and learning. I think people want to act like everything is super logical, but at some point, everything is based on just a, a natural, inherent understanding of how things work. Let me ask you this question. Do you think if there is a creator, he would want to connect with this creation? Or would he just make us and just leave us? Yeah. He would make us, he would connect. It's all interconnected. Sure. How would he connect? Different ways for different beings. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. So he might come to you in a dream, maybe? Could be. Right? Or a situation, circumstance, maybe near-death experience? Could Something, be. right? Yeah. But those are very subjective. 
You understand? Because some people might have that dream. Some people might not have that dream. Some people might have. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So there needs to be an objective way that this creator will communicate with all of its creation. Do you follow my logic? Uh, I don't think. Why does it have to be objective? Because everyone can have a unique experience. You get what I'm saying? And everyone's unique experience is unique to them. And that's a subjective experience. Correct. You get me? Now, we need to come to some type of uh, common denominator so that we all can be able to follow that same rubric. Because if you're saying that there might be a heaven, might be a hell, or some type of afterlife, and if we're all going to return to this one singular creator, whatever this creator is, or whoever this creator is, right? That means this creator needs to establish a type of rubric so that we would be able to guide ourselves to that path in which we will be judged for this heaven or hell or karma or whatever it might be. You follow my logic? You're my guy. You're the guy for it. While you wait for your train, while we wait for your train, have a conversation with us. No, thank you. No? Yeah, I don't, I don't, that's not my belief. Okay, but tell us about your belief. That's okay. That's what this is about. Because I don't want no one in the film with my personal life. Okay. It's a city where there's a lot of invasion of privacy. Gotcha. I don't, I don't, I don't talk about my personal beliefs. Well, do you know what question we're asking? We're asking, do you believe in a heaven or hell? That's what we're asking. In the afterlife. Hold, hold on. Do you? That, that, that's, that's, that's the Islamic Quran? Uh, there's only one Quran. He's triggered. Why, why don't you have a conversation? Do whatever you're doing. Don't talk to me. I, well, I am talking to you. I don't have the but, but why not have a conversation? What do you know about this book? Not a lot. Not a lot? Nah. Do you know what it's about or even a little bit? Nah. I'm more into the um, the um, book of Enoch. The book of Enoch? Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, that is about um, when the angels came to earth and slept with the women and um Angels uh, slept with women? Yes. Why would an angel have a sexual desire? There's a lot to that book. I would, it, would, it would take a lot to explain. It, but but you get what I'm saying? We believe in angels as well too, but we do not believe angels eat. We do not believe angels have uh, reproductive parts and organs. Well, the um, book of e e Enoch was talking about the Nephilim. With okay. Half angel, half... Um, human wow and then um how god sent down gabriel to wipe them out wow yeah and it's interesting because that's a very sort of like greek mythology idea as well yeah you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. now this book has also talks about angels uh -huh. it talks about heaven and hell yeah and this is the last testament you heard of the uh, the old testament yeah you know the new uh, the, the the new testament yeah this is the final testament okay this is sent to the last and final prophet muhammad you ever heard of that name before Muhammad, yeah, yes. everywhere. Peace be upon him. Yeah. He is the last and final messenger sent to mankind. Okay. He was a brother just like Jesus, just like Moses, just like Abraham. He is the last messenger in a series of messages. Okay. Yeah, do you know what this is at all? Like a Bible or something? This is the last and final testament sent to mankind called the Quran. Do you know anything about the Quran? I don't. Nothing? No. My friend, this is the last revelation given to the Prophet Muhammad, who was a messenger just like Jesus, just like Moses, just like Abraham, who was given the final revelation, no corruptions, never been changed, never been altered, my friend, at all. In this book, it talks to you about what's going to happen to you when you pass away. From the moment you pass away, no other book can do that. Do you believe that everything happens for a reason? Yeah. Yeah? yeah so there's a reason for us to have this conversation, correct? Yeah. Perhaps the reason is for you to be introduced to this book. Oh, really? Perhaps. Okay. What do you know, my friend Ryan, about this book right over there? The Quran. What do you know about it? You're a very intelligent person, mashallah, barakallah. Yeah. Tell me, what do you know? <laughs> Uh, I know it is the holy scripture of, the Islam, of Islam. Sure. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say I know that much more. I mean, I could, like, I know random bits and facts and pieces. Sure. Uh, although I would say it's hard to say that I know a lot sure. because I haven't read it. So Interesting. I, 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 I believe I know things. So about let me ask you, is this something you ever wanted to dabble and educate yourself and learn about? Yeah. You seem a very knowledgeable, like you want, like learning, that's why. Yeah, I definitely, like, have thought about reading it. Really? Uh, yeah, definitely. Let me ask you this, Ryan. Let's suppose things, everything, let's assume that everything happens for... This is not one minute, by the way. By the way, is that... Is that <laughs> good, yes. Okay, so let me ask you this, right? So look, let's suppose, right? Let's assume that everything happens for a reason, yeah. right? Then there was a reason for us to meet tonight, if we assume everything happens for a reason. 
All right. Perhaps you wanted to read something to educate yourself. And let's assume that there is a creator higher being higher power. Yeah. And if there is a creation, a creator, right? This creator would want you to have a relationship with them and for you to be guided to a path, right? Sure. Perhaps this is their way of connecting with you and wanting you to learn more about this creator. You mean is it possible? that you are like you being introduced to my life here? And sure. Would be Why not? Sure. Is that that's a possibility? That's a possibility. Sure. So perhaps that's all it is. Perhaps that's all there is. My friend, this is a gift from me to you if you would like to take it. I will. Okay? Yeah. My friend. Thank you. I know it was more than a minute, but you're my guy. I appreciate you. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate you. We believe that this creator, we all have to return to this creator. Yeah. And whether you believe in karma, reincarnation, heaven or hell, there has to be a type of judgment to send you to heaven or hell or to reincarnate. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. means there has to be a rubric. Yes. Right? Yep. Now, this creator gave us all a rubric in the form of a Bible, Yep. in the form of the Torah, yep. right? Yep. And also in the form of a Quran. Have you ever heard of this before, my friend, Zach? Hold on. The Quran. You've heard of this before, my yes. friend. Yes. What do you know about this? Not a lot. Really? Not a lot. You yeah. see, I'm shocked because you, surprise, you you strike me as someone who's very knowledgeable and likes to learn. To, like, I to do learn. like learning. Yes? I do. Yeah. Perhaps this is a gift from me to you so you can learn a little bit more. I appreciate yeah? that. And it's interesting. You were having this conversation this morning with your roommate, yeah. and now you're being given a Quran. Because, Zach, if you're truly sincere, yeah. if you're really sincere, and only, I don't know, what's in your heart belongs to the Creator, and He knows this. Yes. Capital H. Yes. yes. Capital H. This Creator is a latif, meaning He's subtle and aware. He understands your intentions. Yes. Better than you even understand your intentions. I was going to say, way better. Way better. Yes. Right? Yeah. Now, if you're truly a seeker of knowledge and truth, this has come to you. Give it a read. Yeah. I appreciate Fair? it, man. My Fair. Guy. Respect. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. Thank you. SQ. SQ. My channel is called Way of Life SQ. You can go on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Way of Life SQ. Awesome. God my bless. guy. My guy. God bless you. Take care. Guys, before you leave, please make sure to donate a jacket. It's only $15 if you click the link in the description below. Let's help our Syrian brothers and sisters right now. Drop in some mercy is on the ground in Aleppo, handing out and providing your generosity. So please donate. It's urgent right now. They need coach for the winter. May Allah reward you all. Guys, that was it. One minute podcast. We're ready to go. We gave out some Qurans. We gave out some Dawah. Came to New York City. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe and all that good stuff. Thank you to him right here. Thank you to him. Duck, duck, duck. Hold on. You got to come over here. And of course, my guy Idris Goose. You already know, guys. Take care of yourselves. May Allah bless you. And until next time, I'm out of here.